Do you want to fly faster than the speed of sound, create a loud sonic boom, and wake the neighbors? Yeah! Well, too bad, because NASA is working on quieting those loud sonic booms. Oh. That's right, you're looking at the next generation of supersonic passenger planes. The NASA pointy green something fast plane. Yeah, that's it. Why spend five hours trapped in a metal tube with a screaming idiot kid when you can spend just two? Supersonic air travel would be a massive time saver for millions of people. The famous Concorde proved this concept in the 1980s and 90s. The European Concorde first flew over land willy-nilly and rattled towns, folks, with heart-pounding sonic boom. Now the rich people flying in those window-shattering Concords love this deal. But all the poor people on the ground protested and eventually got the Concorde banned from flying over land. Silly poor people! Smart guys at NASA think they've come up with a solution for those loud sonic ba 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 boo Okay, alright, 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 just, just stop. Now they spent years working on this and millions of your tax dollars and they are really proud of what they came up with. Oh, great. Yeah, and it's just to make the front of the plane, like, real pointy. What? Yeah, like, stupid pointy. Now, as all the internet NASA wannabe wiki noobs know, a sonic boob is created by a buildup of air pressure. As the jet flies faster and faster, that air pressure builds up and finally breaks loose or something. This creates a loud shock wave that can be heard and felt for miles. <laughs> You hear that? While you were busy wasting all that time down at the airport, NASA was busy testing their new great pointy stupid idea. That's right, they took an old F-15 that was laying around and super glued PVC pipe to the front of it. And then they took that jerry-rigged test plane and flew it over the sound barrier to see if it would create a quieter sonic boom. And guess what happened? What? Did it work? Oh uh, yeah, kind of did. Really? Normal sonic booms over 100 decibels. This Home Depot modified test plane produced sonic booms of just 85 decibels. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, but they say they need to get the noise down to just 75 decibels to be acceptable by the sissy poor public. Oh, well. This just in. Huh? Oh, here we go. Someone on the internet just tweeted that these supersonic swordfish looking planes could actually be a cover. Oh, another conspiracy. Yeah, this too scary to be true tweet tweets that this is all part of a covert plan to seek out and pop those new eco-friendly Russian spy balloons that are watching us right now. Hey, that's great. I wouldn't believe everything some twerp tweets on Twitter. Shh, shh, shh. What? They're watching us right now. Oh, jeez, dude. The new NASA-powered PVC pipe constructed rich people flying sonic boom quieting asparagus-looking pointy fast plane thing! Is it gonna be the future of supersonic air travel? Or is this just another government secret weapon designed to pop those Russian spy balloons? I like to fly way up high. I like to fly way up high and spy on you! Yeah. Peace out!